getting ready to make dinner, but I wanted to kind of chat with you and have like a little wedding story time um, while I'm making dinner. So I hope that you guys don't mind and I hope that you can hear me okay. I've never done anything like this before, so we shall see. I'm making turkey patties, by the way. But I wanted to tell you guys about my laser hair removal. So for those of you who don't know, I am getting or I got laser hair removal treatments for my wedding. It wasn't specifically for my wedding, but it ended up working out like the timing of it is perfect to end right around wedding time. So I had my last laser hair removal appointment scheduled for today, actually. It's supposed to be today. And I'm going through Sona Med Spa. So there's lots of different med spas you can. Ooh, that's a loud sink. Sink making that noise. Um, lots of different med spas. You can even go to dermatology office. Some doctor's offices do it. But I signed up through Sona Med Spa, and for the most part, my experience with them was okay. Um, I will say, I also got cool sculpting done on my under chin with them. I don't think it's worth the money. Um, my experience with that, it was really expensive. It was $750, which I think is just crazy expensive. And they're supposed to take before and after pictures, they never scheduled my before and after picture session. I had to ask them about it. I had to say, hey, wasn't I supposed to get before and after photos taken? And they were like, oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah, you're supposed to do that. So I had to proactively make my own appointment for my after pictures. And I never saw those pictures, never. And the last time I was there, I asked them about it. I was like, hey, um, like hey I'm supposed to you know see my before and after pictures and the lady at the front desk was like we don't have any record of you taking an after photo and I was like you're kidding me right so I just kind of got fed up with it I kind of took my own before and after pictures so whatever but that's not that's not what this is about this is about the laser hair removal so the way the laser hair removal works if you've never had it done is you actually get let me turn this on you get five to seven sessions, just depending on your hair thickness, your hair color, um, the area that's getting done. There's different things that decide how many sessions you get done. Mine is seven sessions. I actually still have one session that I have to schedule, my last session, so I've done six so far. And the reason why I picked Sona Med Spa, well, there's various reasons why I picked Sona Med Spa, but one of the main reasons why I picked Sona Med Spa is the fact that they were open late and they're open on weekends. So I work just like you guys do Monday through Friday, nine to five. And so I, the appeal of being open late is what really sucked me in. Cause I was like, oh, that's great. I can schedule my appointments after work. And you know, this, this is great. So they're open until like, I think like eight o'clock um, during the week on some days. And so those were the days I had my appointment scheduled. And the thing is, uh, there's numbing cream involved. So I'm a baby and I have to use numbing cream. And the thing is the numbing cream doesn't kick in right away. You have to put the numbing cream on about an hour, um, probably more like two hours for it to be the most effective ahead of time before your appointment for it to actually like kick in. So if you have a five o'clock appointment, you need to put that numbing cream on at three o'clock for it to be the area to be fully numb. So thinking about me and work, it takes me like 45 minutes to get home, which sounds ridiculous because I live two hour, two miles away, like three miles away, but I have to walk to my car, which takes me about 15 minutes. Depending on traffic in Uptown Charlotte, sometimes there's basketball games or football games or concerts. And so sometimes it takes me 30 minutes to get out of the dang parking structure. So I have to account for the possibility of that. And then sometimes, you know, depending on traffic to get home, it takes me another 15 minutes. So, you know, we'll roughly say about 40, 40 ish minutes to get home. Then I have to have time to put the numbing cream on and then it takes me about 15 minutes to get to the appointment. 
Also keep in mind that when you have this numbing cream on, you can't really wear clothes because then it's going to like touch, gosh dang it. I got a text message that popped up and there's crap all over my hands. I wish I could like fling it off. I hope it's not interrupting this video. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, so if I had a five o'clock appointment, I basically had to leave work at 2.30 in order to make it work. And apparently these night appointments are not very, like they're a hot commodity and it's really hard to come by them. So when you schedule a night appointment, it's kind of like a small win because you're like, yay, I, I grabbed one of the only appointments available. So typically I would make my appointments for like 7, um, 7.30, 7.40. That way I could leave work at 5 and be fine. So my last, last appointments, not this last one, the one before, um, I had it scheduled at the perfect time. It was like 7.30 or whatever. They call me and they're like, hey, um, we had something happen with our staffing and we had to cancel your appointment, but don't worry, we booked a new appointment for you at our Ballantine location, which if you're familiar with the Charlotte area, Ballantine is like not close. It's like 30 minutes away from the location I usually go to and that's in good traffic. So in rush hour traffic, it's like an hour away. And I was like, um, that's not gonna work for me. I have to work and I schedule my appointment at a certain time for a reason and the numbing cream and blah, blah, blah. And so I had to push my appointment out a week in order to make it work as far as timing goes. And even then I still had to leave work early and take sick time in order to have time to come home and use the numbing cream and whatever. And when that happened, I was mad and I was like, this can't happen again. Like this gave me really bad anxiety because it impacted my work and I don't like for things to impact my work. And so I was like, you guys can't do this to me. Like, this gave me really bad anxiety. And they're like, oh, well, this is a one-off. It'll never happen again. And so I was like, all right, fine. You know, whatever. I, I kind of trusted them. And then this last time, which, by the way, I scheduled to time perfectly with my wedding, right? So when you get laser hair removal, it takes about a week and a half for the hair that's lasered to start falling out. Um, probably more like a week and then it'll start falling out. If you tug at it sometimes, like pull the hair out, it comes out really easily by the way. It's not like you're plucking it out, but you kind of have to tug and it comes out. So it takes about a week for the hair to actually start falling out. I scheduled my last appointment before my wedding on today, Monday, because we leave on Tuesday and that gives me about almost two full weeks before my actual wedding. And so I was like, okay, this is perfect timing. Like the hair should start falling out like Monday, we leave on Tuesday, like maybe the first couple of days, like some of the hair will still be falling out. And granted, I don't have a ton of hair left at this point, but that's beside the point. Anyways, they call me again and they tell me that my appointment is canceled again. And I'm like, what the hell? And they were like, oh, well, one of our nurses, we had to let go. And I was like, that's not my fault. Like me as a full paying customer, like I didn't get this through Groupon, like I'm fully paying for your services should not be impacted by your staffing issues. Like you guys need to figure it out. And so they had their like regional manager call me and I vented on them. I went kind of bridezilla on them. And I was like, my wedding is coming up. This is impacting my wedding. Like I specifically had it scheduled at this time, you know, for my wedding, blah, blah, blah. And you're giving me anxiety again. And the lady was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, I'm never recommending your place to anybody. And her idea of like compensating me was like, oh, well, I'll give you free sessions. I was like, I don't need free sessions. I already paid for all of my sessions. I need you to schedule me an appointment that coincides with my wedding timeline. And so they ended up like opening early for me on Saturday, like this past Saturday. So I went on Saturday and the lady was really nice. Like she was a new nurse and she told me that they're basically like hiring all new staff, which pretty much means like their staff before sucked. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. So she even commented my muscles in my leg. She told me I had a quad dip or whatever the heck that is. I don't know. But anyways, my word of caution to you is maybe don't use the Sona Med Spa if you're considering getting laser. Um, 
I don't know. They're expensive and like to have them cancel on me twice, especially right before my wedding, like, mm -mm. That, that was not okay with me. So anyways, uh, because of that, I didn't have to go today, which I was originally supposed to go today, which is nice because now I can make dinner for Matt by the time he gets home for work from work, but still, man, so annoying. So that's done. So the only thing I have left, also my dress fitting. So my dress actually still fits perfectly fine. It could use a tiny bit, like an inch, maybe taken in like a half an inch on either side, but really not enough to justify the price and the time and the effort. The dress lady was like, no, it still looks perfect. And I was just like, well, you know, you can maybe do an inch if you want. And I ended up just keeping it the way it is. I figured I could probably use a little bit of wiggle room just because we get there on Tuesday and I don't get married until Saturday and if I am bloated or whatever, I don't know. So I ended up not having to get my dress altered again, which is great. So that's also one less thing I have to worry about this week because originally I was going to have to pick up my dress this week. So I don't need to do my laser hair removal. I don't need to pick up my dress. So things are actually starting to work out pretty well, which is great. I got my packages on time. Um, I do have our dance lesson is on Thursday. God, there's a fly flying around here. Our dance lesson is on Thursday. Um, and Friday's a hair appointment. I have my final hair appointment, which I'm kind of nervous about. I don't know. It's only the second time I will be seeing this hair girl. And I hope she's able to make my hair blonder. Like, I really want it to be blonder than it is now. Without looking unnatural and weird, you know? So... We'll see, that's on Friday, and then Saturday, it's just finishing up packing, relaxing, because we're not going to be able to relax for a while, and just getting ready for wedding stuff, so pretty, pretty excited.